Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. Uh, and in this video, I want to show you how you can create a Zoom text animation in VSTC Video Editor Pro version. Now, it's actually super easy to create Zoom text animation in VSDC Pro. So without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now to demonstrate this, first I would like to write some text on top of the screen. So let me just click on the text object and now click on text and now click on OK. Now create your text box on top of the screen like this and then click on this option that is set the same size as the parent has. Next, let's write some text inside the text box. So let me just write, let's say hello and let me change the font of my text from Arial to Montserrat Black. Let me also increase the text size to somewhere around, let's say, 250 pixels. And let me also center align my text by first clicking on center and then clicking on center align. Now, currently the duration of my text in the timeline is 10 seconds. So I would like to reduce it to one second. So inside the duration option, write 0.1.00. .00 and now press center on the keyboard. Next, we are going to duplicate this particular text object three times. So let me just click on this text object, press Ctrl C to copy it, and then press Ctrl V to paste once, twice, and thrice. Now, let me just place the text objects one after the other in the timeline. So let me just place the second text object right here. Let me place the third text object right here and let me place the fourth and final text object right at the end like this. And let me now change the text inside the second, third and fourth text object. So this is the second text object. Text is hello. So let me just change this from hello to how. And inside the third text object, let me just change the text from hello to R and inside the fourth text object let me just change the text from hello to you and so now this is how things are looking on screen hello how are you all right now to add a zoom text animation or to create a zoom text animation we are going to first of all double click on the first text object and go to video effects, go to transforms, click on zoom and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the zoom effect is the entire duration of my text in the timeline that is one second. So I would like to reduce it to somewhere around let's say let's say 30 milliseconds. So let me just reduce the duration from one second to not 30 milliseconds, maybe 500 milliseconds. So let me just reduce it to somewhere around 0, 0 0.15 and now press enter on the keyboard. All right. And uh, now look inside the zoom settings, which is present inside the properties window. And right here, you're going to find this option called levels where currently the value is 100%. So first of all, you need to delete this value and instead of 100, you need to write 500 semicolon 100 and now press enter on the keyboard. And if I just quickly play the video for you, okay, this is how things are looking as of now. Maybe let me just um, decrease the, the value a little bit. So maybe instead of 500 semicolon 100, let me just write 500 semicolon 85 and now press enter on the keyboard. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you, all right. Now click on the three dots, which is present on the extreme right of the levels option. And the moment you click on the three dots, you will see this graph opening up right here. And what we are going to do is we will create a text pop-up effect right at the last couple of milliseconds. So the, the entire duration is somewhere around 14 milliseconds um, and and let me just 
place the cursor at 12 milliseconds right here as you can see this is 12 milliseconds and now let me just click on this option which says insert point to current position so this will insert a keyframe and I want to place this keyframe at at 85 percent so right here is the point value so let me just delete this 144 and write 85 and now press enter on the keyboard now click on the last keyframe and increase its value from 85 to 100 and so now if I just quickly play the video for you what is going to happen is at the last couple of milliseconds you will see a text pop-up effect and I don't know how much my recorder is capturing it but at the last couple of milliseconds there is a text pop-up effect and uh, now go back to the main editing timeline and what we are going to do next is we will add a fade in effect so I don't want these things to be visible right on screen I want a fade in effect so go to video effects go to transparency select fade in and now click on ok and once again the duration of the fade in effect is the entire duration of my text in the timeline that is that is one second so I would like to reduce it to somewhere around let's say let's say uh maybe maybe seven milliseconds all right because i want the fade in effect to be to have a lesser duration than my zoom effect and so accordingly i have placed the the fade in effect right at the beginning and its duration is seven milliseconds the duration of my zoom effect is 15 milliseconds and the duration of the entire text is one second and so now if I just quickly play the video for you perfect now all you need to do is simply copy these two effects press ctrl c first select them and then press ctrl c to copy them go back to the main editing timeline now double click on the second text object press ctrl v once again go back to the main editing timeline now double click on the third text object and press ctrl v and finally go back to the main editing timeline once again double click on the fourth text object and press ctrl v once again and that's it and so now if i just quickly play the video for you from the start perfect perfect so this is how you can actually create a zoom text animation in vsdc video editor pro version do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.